Tesla just dropped a bombshell that's shaking the entire EV world. An aluminum ion battery with a mind blowing 550 mile range, faster charging, safer, and built without cobalt or lithium. This isn't hype. This is a revolution hiding in plain sight, and it changes everything you thought you knew about electric cars. Tesla's secret weapon isn't a new vehicle, it's the heart of the future, the battery itself. Don't blink. Hit like and subscribe right now because what's coming next will blow your mind. Batteries were supposed to be the bottleneck. Everyone said it. Everyone believed it. The conversation was always about lithium. How to charge it faster, cool it better, stretch its lifespan just a little further. That was the game. That was the race. But while the world was arguing about incremental improvements, something else was happening behind the scenes. Not in public, not in press conferences. Inside a sealed soundproof lab in Austin, Texas, Tesla was building something that didn't just challenge the rules, it rewrote them. It didn't start with a breakthrough. It started with a question. Why are we still fighting the same old enemy? Lithium degradation, thermal runaway, and delayed discharge. What if the real problem wasn't the battery size or even its chemistry, but the way energy moves inside it? That's where aluminum came in. Not as a replacement, but as a redefinition. High conductivity, abundant, capable of transferring energy almost instantly without bottlenecking. At first, it was theoretical, a paper here, a test cell there. But then something snapped into place. Tesla's engineers found a way to crack aluminum's biggest flaw, ion lock. Normally, aluminum ions can't release energy fast enough. But by changing the binding substrate, a proprietary carbon-graphene mix laced with atomic-scale induction points, they triggered what they call quantum burst discharge. The result? Power on demand. No lag, no fade, no chemical choke points. It was like going from dial-up to fiber optic but for battery discharge. And that changed everything because now, the limiting factor wasn't how long your car could drive. It was how hard it could launch. Suddenly, EVs weren't about endurance. They were about raw, unfiltered power, supercapacitor level output with the storage density of a full pack. And Tesla had it working. Not on a prototype bench, but in full-scale modules, hidden under test mules, running laps on closed tracks, while everyone else was still chasing lithium's shadow. Inside Tesla's high-voltage testing lab, the numbers were never meant to leak, but they did. What they showed wasn't just progress. It was a leap, $7,000 W per QE, a figure five times greater than Tesla's own, 4680 lithium-ion cells. That's not a battery anymore. That's a contained explosion tamed and delivered through software-tuned pulses fast enough to rival direct fuel injection, and yet cool, stable, repeatable. The new aluminum ion cells didn't balloon under stress. They didn't need cryogenic cooling. In fact, they performed better as the heat climbed. Most lithium cells degrade above 40 degrees C. By 60 degrees C, they're in thermal runaway danger. These new Tesla cells, they're most efficient at 85 degrees C. Where lithium would die, aluminum thrives. That's because the chemical transfer doesn't rely on thermal activation. It relies on pulse resonance triggered by a new kind of signal controller inside the battery management system. Tesla calls it QBC, quantum burst control. It doesn't just regulate power, it shapes it. Even after 10,000 full cycles, lab reports showed no measurable drop in output, not 1%. Same torque, same launch, same range. That's over 25 years of daily charging with zero fade. And for Tesla, that wasn't a brag. It was a requirement. Because the vehicle this battery was going into wasn't a luxury sedan. It wasn't a $120,000 flagship, it was something else entirely. Tesla didn't just build a new battery, they built a new class of vehicle around it. Something the industry still refuses to believe is real. Internally, it's referred to as Project Redwood. Publicly, it'll be known as the Model 2. Price under $16,000. Range 5550 microsur, charge, time, 5 minutes. That's not marketing. That's what's already been demonstrated at Tesla's closed-door testing events. Five minutes from 0 to 100% on a level 4, aluminum, capable charger using quantum burst modulation. This isn't a theoretical leap. It's a practical one, and it's scalable.
When journalists were quietly invited to ride in the first pre-production Model 2, they weren't told what powered it, but they noticed something. This wasn't just a cheap EV. This thing launched like a beast. 0 to 100 keep H in 3.2 seconds. Silent, violent, relentless, and not just once, over and over again, with no thermal throttling, no lag, no drop-off. Porsche Taycan's overheated after a few launches. BMW's i4 throttled at 50 degrees C. The aluminum ion Tesla, it just kept punching. And that's when the realization hit. This wasn't Tesla catching up. It was everyone else falling behind. Because while legacy automakers are still trying to push $60,000 EVs with 30-minute charge times and fragile battery chemistries, Tesla is preparing to flood the market with a $15,000 electric missile that never fades, never overheats, and charges before you can finish a cup of coffee. The shock wasn't that Tesla built a better battery. The shock was that they made it cheap, not someday. Now, this wasn't a concept. It was already rolling off a limited production line. Modular, simplified, vertically integrated. Every cell manufactured in-house using materials 10 times more abundant than lithium. No cobalt, no nickel, no supply chain hostage points. Just pure domestic-built speed wrapped in the silhouette of the most accessible EV in history. No one was ready, not for what came next. Because while the world obsessed over lithium, cobalt, and conflict minerals buried in war-torn soil, Tesla looked the other way at an element so overlooked, so ordinary it was practically invisible. Not because it lacked power, but because it was everywhere, too common to be revolutionary until now. Aluminum, the third most abundant element on Earth, light, strong, and endlessly recyclable. For decades, scientists mocked its potential as battery material. Too unstable, too reactive, too primitive. But Tesla's latest chemistry hack flipped that script by using a crystalline structure embedded with graphene-like lattice modifiers. The aluminum core didn't degrade under use. It got stronger. The more it charged, the tighter the structure locked. Not decay, activation. This new cell didn't just remove the need for lithium. It erased cobalt. No nickel, no rare earths, no dependence on China's mines or Congo's human cost. Just raw, scalable American aluminum, refined with AI-optimized ion layers that self-organized under current load. But the truly disruptive twist, heat. The one thing that kills lithium awakens aluminum. The hotter the battery got, the more conductive its internal channels became. No fire risk, no bloating, just raw power efficiency, accelerated, not suppressed by extreme heat. In deserts, on racetracks, under pressure, Aluminum didn't just survive, it thrived. And with lithium supply chains now cracking under geopolitical weight, this wasn't just a technical win. It was a geopolitical dagger, a supply chain upheaval, a sovereign flex that Tesla alone seemed prepared to wield. Then came the moment no one believed. The one fear every EV skeptic clung to like gospel, charging time. It was always the same debate. EVs are great, but I don't have 40 minutes to wait on a road trip. And just like that, that excuse shattered. In a closed-door investor demonstration, Tesla brought out a single Model 2 prototype, stripped of flare, cloaked in black. Engineers plugged it into a standard supercharger. No experimental gear, no tricked cables, and hit the timer. What happened next wasn't a stunt. It was a benchmark reset. Five minutes, not 50, not 30, five minutes to 80% capacity. The audience didn't applaud, they stared because the implications were seismic. No special infrastructure, no nationwide rollout, just a new cell chemistry and a hypercharge interface engineered to channel energy through nano-structured pathways without triggering heat spikes or degrading the anode. Those tiny channels self-assembling through AI-predicted formation models allowed ions to flow like liquid light, bypassing the resistance points that throttle traditional batteries. But it's not just price, it's control. The entire battery life cycle is designed to be circular, local, and autonomous. Up to 95% of materials are recycled on site. No sprawling mines in unstable regions, no geopolitical choke points, no dependency on a single nation or company. China's decades-long monopoly on lithium refining, over 80% of the global market, 
faces its most existential threat yet. Tesla's swarm of microfactories, each pumping out millions of aluminum ion packs worldwide, breaks the supply chains apart and scatters the power. The lithium era is ending and Tesla's energy empire is rising from the ashes. This is no ordinary car launch. It's a declaration of independence, a shot fired in the silent war for the future of energy. The Model 2 stands not only as a vehicle, but as a symbol of innovation, defiance, and a new world order in motion. And as the dust settles on the lithium age, one question remains etched in the air. How fast will the rest of the world catch up before they're left behind?